Hi! So today I'm going to be showing you how to decorate Easter eggs um, by using more than one product um, and by using a different method of decoration. Okay? So the first thing you want to do is to make sure you tie dye, not tie dye, but you, you dye your eggs. Now I like to use food coloring for this. Um, it's very simple. Um, instructions are on the back. You just follow the instructions and you have your eggs and whatever colors you want to use. So in my case, I went ahead and I, I, I used my food coloring to color my eggs and I used blue, pink, yellow, and green, okay? So this is the first step. You want to make sure you colored your eggs, okay? Now, in my case, I went ahead and I used the eggs. So I just drilled a hole and I used the egg and I once I used it, then I went ahead and I rinsed it off very well, the, the shell. I rinsed it off very well and I let it dry. And then once it was fully dried, then I went ahead and, and did the coloring process, okay? Now, um, a lot of people hard boil their eggs and that's fine to do so as well. Um, I just happened that, it just happened that I was gonna use them. So I went ahead and I just did the hole. And I'm gonna show you how to cover this hole when you're um, decorating your Easter eggs, okay? so. Um, the other thing I want you to do is to find a couple napkins, just Easter related napkins that have decorations. Um, for example, I have some that have butterflies, they're green and blue. I mean, and it doesn't have to be Easter related decorations. You pretty much decide how you want to decorate your Easter eggs. Um, I also found some Easter napkins that I had. Um, so you get to choose, you get to pick and choose what you want to use for your decorations, okay? So for example, I went ahead and I pre-selected some already. As you can see from this napkin, I cut it out so, um, several designs that I'm using, such as the flower, some of the eggs, like I'll show you one egg that I cut it out, and then I'll show you some of the butterflies that I cut it out, okay? Um, so you get to pick and choose how you want to decorate your um, Easter eggs. The other thing I want you to do is to dilute some Elmer's glue with water. That's going to be your gluing paste to glue down any of your napkin decorations onto your egg. Okay? Now, I also went ahead and I'm going to show you down right here. I went ahead and I picked some gems that I would love to use to show you how to use the gems on your Easter eggs. Um, I went ahead and, and I did one already to show you what it would look like. So this is the pink one and I added gems and I created flowers. So I happen to have purple gems and clear and green gems. So obviously the green is the stem of the flower with the leaves sticking over on this side. And then um, I have my purple flower and then I have another purple flower down here and I have another purple flower flower back here. So you get to decide how you want to decorate your Easter egg, okay? Now, um, I went ahead and I also did one with the paper, um, with the napkin designs. So I went ahead and I used this yellow one and I did a butterfly and I did some flowers. Now, this one I didn't cover the bottom because I'm going to show you how you can cover the bottom, okay? Now, for example, I'm get since this is my butterfly theme one, I'm going to go ahead and grab a butterfly cutout from my napkin, this one, and I'm just going to place it here at the bottom like that, just like that, okay? And I'm going to dip my brush into my uh, Elmer's glue, which I diluted with water, and I'm just going to cover that little section of my butterfly all the way around and when it fully dries you're not even going to notice that it's a cutout from a napkin. It's going to look as if it was part of a drawing. Okay? So how that's how you cover the hole. Okay? Now, I started this one before I started the video, so it's not fully dried, but I just wanted to show you what it could look like, okay? Now, all these ripples will go away when it's fully dried, okay? All right, so 
So let me show you step by step how to do one. So I grabbed my Easter eggs that I cut it out from the napkin with the Easter bunny. So I just place it on top and I add some of the Elmer's glue diluted with water and I cover my whole entire design. All the way. Okay, looks like this. So I have my two Easter eggs here. Then I'm gonna add a butterfly. Yeah, I'm gonna add a butterfly. I'm gonna add a butterfly over here, this blue butterfly. I'm gonna add it back here. And it's okay if it moves as you are gently um, adding the Elmer's glue uh, diluted solution on it. Okay, and at the bottom, I'm going to use um, one of the Easter eggs that I cut it out to cover the bottom. So I'm going to place it down like so. And then I'm going to add some of my solution on there. Okay, and it covers the hole. Now, um, when I was a little girl, my mom used to make these with me and we would fill them up with confetti. And um, during um, April 30th in Mexico, which is considered Children's Day, we would smash these against each other and we would be covered in confetti. So that's one thing you can do. <laughs> okay, so this is what it could look like. I mean, super easy, super simple to do. Um, it's not uh, messy, honestly. It's just very easy to do so. Now, the only one that may be a little time consuming would be the one with the gems because it does require lots of patience. So I'm gonna show you how to do this in a fast and easy way. But there's really no fast and easy way, but this is the fastest that I've found so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a big um, should I use this one? Well, okay, we'll use this one. We'll make it different. So I'm going to use a orange gem. So what I like to do is I like to find the spot where my first one's going to go and I just add a little bit of hot glue and I quickly push it in carefully. Don't press too hard because if you press too hard, you'll break the egg. So then all around, I'm going to add one little dot, and then I'm going to add another um, gem, and I'm going to glue it, glue it down, press it down gently, like so. I'm going to add another one, and then I'm going to do that all the way around. I don't know if you can see it well. I'm going to try to do two gems at the same time, but I don't recommend you doing that. Sometimes your glue dries out quickly. Okay, yay, we made it in time. And I'm gonna add another dot. Okay, and then I'm gonna add another one. I must say, these are pretty cool to do. I really like the ones with the gems. I need to find another orange gem. Do our stem with green gems. So it's gonna go down here. This is what it's looking like so far. And it's gonna go down here, the first green. Right, and another green. But I had selected these prior to beginning the video, but I forgot the green ones. Anyway, okay. So here's another one, and another one going down. All right, so this is what it's starting to look like. Pretty cool, huh? I love these. These are so cool to make. Um, so that's it. Those are my two uh, Easter egg decoration ideas, one with gems, 
and you get to be creative, you get to decide how you want to make your own designs. I went with flowers, but obviously you can do other designs, you can do hearts, you decide what to do. Um, and the other way is to use paper napkins that are colorful, that have patterns, designs, and for you to cut them out and then with the diluted glue, you glue them on and voila, you have some Easter eggs decorated, de already decorated and done. So let me show you, I have a little Easter basket over here show you what it could look like. So these are it. These are the ones we just did. So I'm going to push it to the back so it doesn't get wet with the other ones. Okay. Oops. I forgot to cover the hole in this one. But I showed you how you can use um, tissue paper as well to cover the hole at the bottom. You can also use tissue paper to make designs. Um, for example, I have some tissue paper that looks like this. I have some with hearts. Uh, I have some stripes. So be as creative as you want and have fun making Easter eggs. 